Hello guys, this one I'm going to kind of explain why I'm using plasticity more and more. And real quick, I just want to let you know that I have a new course, Practical Sci-Fi Design, you will learn to effectively model instead of 3ds Max and plasticity, and then use V-Ray to create procedural materials. And all without leaving Max, you will learn how to do color correction, volume light, lens effects, and use V-Ray's decal system to create quick decals. So be sure to check that out in the description. So I've got these kinds of questions like, why are you using Plasticity, you know, over Max or Blender or any other programs? Like, what's your fascination? Is it really that good? And I just figured I'd make a short video explaining why I like it. Now, first of all, guys, I don't use exclusively Plasticity. I use Max, I use Blender, I use ZBrush, I use Samoai and other programs as well. And I use all programs for different reasons. But when it comes to specifically hard surface modeling, like really uh, sharp, crisp details here, I like to use plasticity and then if I want to make it into a film asset, I'll go into Max or Blender and kind of retopologize some things and fix it up some more. But obviously I still use Max and Blender for or more organic and ZBrush for more organic assets and for rigging animation, guys. You have to understand that when I sing the praise of plasticity, it's just for like a hard service modeling like this. And you know, if I'm making some more simple props, I mean, I can just stick in 3ds Max here. If I, if I make a little basic table, you know, I can I can do this in Max, and then I can go in here and just you know do some little, some little uh, insets and some little extrudes and some little things here and there, and then I can just use uh, you know support loops and get some little details here. So so there's a lot of details, guys, that I still of course model with polygons or with ZBrush, uh, you know specifically more ornamental details, uh, more like smooth details like this, or details that I, I could make in plasticity, but I just don't want to spend the time retopologizing. So a lot of things, guys, I will still, of course, make here uh, with polygons. So it's not like I completely abandoned polygons. So I still very much like working with polygons. I still like taking advantage of the freeform nature for a lot of objects. I like being able just to kind of uh, move this and subdivide and get these kind of nice surfaces. But I'll give a reason why I really like plasticity here. So uh, the, way, the way I got this object right here was I press Shift A and I used the line tool just to create some uh, some random little panel here. All right, like that. And then I uh, selected that and I extruded it up. All right. And so one thing I really like about plasticity is some things that take a lot of hassle on the programs are just very easy in plasticity. So for example, if I want to do screen space scudding plasticity, all I need to do is find the camera angle I like, press control space, and now I can now cut at this angle. And I can select that uh, shift D, you know, move that right here, for example. I can now select this, press C, select that, hold shift, and then left click here to add to my selection. Oop, let me redo that. I got the wrong surface here. So C, Left click, hold shift, left click, there we go. And now I can use, just delete this. And just like that, I'm left with this nice little panel detail. I also like plasticity because if I if there's a surface, I just want to cut away that surface. All I need to do is press C, select the surface, and bam, that is now cut away. It cannot be deleted, or it can be a GG and moved away to somewhere else. So that's a fantastic workflow right there. So that's what I did to get this right here. So I like the fact that I can just select this you know, select this and just uh, just delete that. Select this and just delete that, like no hassle. I don't need a bunch of uh, add-ons I can Blender to do some basic things. It's just all built into the program. It's very nice flow. So, and one, re one really cool thing I like about plasticity is that a lot of things that will be much more a hassle of the programs are just very easy peasy in plasticity. For example, I can hold down Alt and select this, this group of polygons right here. I can press Control 2 to convert to the edges. I can press P to activate the pipe tool. All right, and then I can uh, incre uh, have a huge number right here, you know, maybe even bigger than this, let's say 800. And if you're wondering what's going on here, well, I can press Shift Q for the slice command. And now I can select this and uh, just delete that. And so just like that, guys, I now have an inner object and an outer object. And I can now just, you know, give this a color here, you know, give this maybe like a nice desaturated dark blue right here i can select that and give it a little dark gray color and just like that i've got this really cool result and now i can just select this for example and just press d to offset it move it higher or lower so i can get really cool details here right and now i can easily do that again just press uh control space all right shift a and uh, i can cut something out from here for example
All right, let's go with that. You can select that, press C, cut away. And now I can just select this and I can, I can delete this. I can select this and shoot it down a little bit here. Uh, I can uh, reconnect them together. I can very easily select a face here. I can press R for rotate, V to set up a custom pivot, guys. Just effortless setting up pivots. And I can kind of rotate uh, on the Z axis here, you know, to get really cool results. Same with this right here. You know, I can kind of rotate in this direction. There's really cool stuff right there. Very, very uh, nice built-in pivot system for doing various actions. And I can very, very easily select this and uh, just press Shift D to copy that out. All right, and I can just uh, S S to scale this, for example. All right, I can um, once again uh, Control Space uh, Shift A to cut out a part of this. All right. I can just uh, cut away with that. Delete that. All right, then I can select this. And I can use Thicken the Sheet. And then can I move this here and maybe uh, fill it right here. And then I can uh, combine these objects just like that. And I can easily do fillets as well. So just like that, I can really get any shape I want without really worrying about topology. And uh, unlike, unlike in ZBrush, which is you know, a nice and powerful program, I don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of H polish or a lot of problems here. You know, there are occasionally some things you run into with plasticity, but I find that you can easily fix them. For example, if I select this edge and fill it, you can see you get this strange problem here. But if I select this edge and fill it, you know, we can very easily solve problems. You know, with, with other programs, there's a much longer problem solving process here. Everything is just much simpler. And, you know, adding little details is as easy as just selecting the object. And, you know, I can use Shift Q to use Slice. And now I've got, I've got uh, this object as well as the option inside of here, so I can very easily give this uh, a different color. Now I can select this and fill it, and then select that and fill it or chamfer. And just like that, guys, it becomes super easy to add details as well. And I can even select all the faces and just R for rotate, V for the pivot point, and then I can just, you know, get a line up to where I want it to be. So, you know, S for scale, V for pivot, right there, Z. I can make it wider like this and you know, just cut that away. I can make it shorter as well. Or I can just select the faces and just uh, D to move them to where I want them to be. So guys, just really nice options. Once again, I can select this R, V, right there, Z. So I hope you guys understand that I'm not just, uh, you know, saying something that's not really true about the program, I'm just having a lot of fun using it, you know? And even though there are programs that can do this as well, what makes plasticity nice is it's nice price. And just the fact that it's made by somebody who takes advice from artists, you know? No other CAD program out there, whether it's Fusion or Rhino or anything, is just takes advice from a regular just artists who just wanna make cool sci-fi objects. You know, a lot of those programs are made for like, uh, you know, car manufacturing, and that's great and all, but what about for just artists just for make some cool things here? And so I think in the future, as plasticity gets more and more powerful, it will be able to do all those all those car things, all those, you know, real life manufacturing things, but it's also gonna be really good for artists just to make all sorts of cool, uh, crisp, hard surface art here. So I just want you guys to understand that, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not being paid for saying any of this. Um, if you do get, if you do get paid money, for sponsoring, then you have to legally disclose it. You know, I have to tell you at the beginning of the video, I'm being paid to do this. And you guys have seen my sponsored videos. I always tell you at the beginning that I'm being paid. Uh, I'm not being paid to use plasticity. I'm just generally enjoying it. And uh, 
it really helps that the creator of the program, Nick Callan, actually talked with me and I gave him a lot of advice about what we as artists want and he actually incorporated a lot of those features that you see in plasticity. So some of the things you see in plasticity, guys, are because uh, I asked for them and that's amazing. That's really cool. So I will continue to support uh, developers who actually listen to what the artists want. So that's some of the reasons why I'm using plasticity more and more. And that's why I'm kind of uh, putting in a lot of my courses. I got the plasticity modeling guide. I've got the practical sci-fi design. I've got the ultimate 3D modeling course and all those programs use liberal plasticity. So thank you for watching and take care.